Hello! Today we will be talking about slash reviewing, whatever you would like to call it, Gotham Knights epi uh, Season 1, Episode 1, titled uh, Pilot, just like pretty much all Episode 1s are, and um, I'll give you my thoughts on it, what I liked about it, what I thought was just okay, and a few things that they kind of left out, which I like, am kind of curious on, and where they're going to be going with it, but um, I'll give you my spoiler-free thoughts first, and then we will get into spoilers, because there's a few things I want to talk about that are definitely going to be happening within this show, so anyway, without further ado, Shall we begin? So, Gotham Knights. This is uh, just pretty much its own thing. I don't really think it's connected to the Arrowverse at all because we didn't know what Bruce Wayne looked like in the Arrowverse, and this one he looks totally different. And um, I'm, it's not connected to the show at all whatsoever, but I decided just to throw it up there because it's still uh, talking about Gotham. And it kind of does have the same feel as this show as well. But um, let's actually get into the uh, talk of the episode. This is the first episode. Uh, sometimes they're a little rough no matter how good the show may be down the line. But I gotta say, this episode actually kind of... I wouldn't say sold me on the show, but actually does have me excited for where we're going to be going with this, because I don't think it was a bad episode whatsoever. Now, I do understand the trailers did not make this show look great whatsoever, but actually, after watching the first episode, it is filled with, like, the CW stuff, which I'm completely fine with, but you can just tell that it's filled with it, but, um, like, the score in this show, I thought was absolutely great, but, um, Getting into the general plot of it, if you don't know what it is, this isn't a spoiler, it's literally in the trailer, uh, Bruce Wayne is killed, and it says your bat is dead, and then this, uh, gang of, uh, like, ragtag team members and all that, uh, are framed for it, and they have to fight their way out of Gotham when everybody thinks that they were the ones that killed him, yet Turner Hayes, the adopted son of, uh, uh, Bruce Wayne, so he's one of the main suspects, because they're like, okay, this is like, this is weird, there's something strange going on here, and then you have, um, I can't remember their names, but, uh, you got the brother and sister, and then you have, uh, Joker's daughter, uh, which, spoiler alert, if you didn't read the comics, um, this is just a minor spoiler, but five, four, three, two, one. In the comics, she is known as Joker's daughter, but it is later revealed that she is actually the daughter of uh, Harvey Dent. So her name is Dula Dent within the comics, but right now her name is Dula something else. So I am curious to see where they're going to go with that because Harvey Dent is a big part in the show. But anyway, getting back to non-spoiler stuff now. So non-spoiler stuff coming in and uh, pretty much what it is, is just them trying to clear their name. The Court of Owls is playing a big part in this. It is to believed right now the Court of Owls has killed uh Bruce Wayne and uh they even threw the mask on him uh, after they killed him I gotta say I think the mask could use a little bit of work that was one of the things that I thought was just like okay but like I was saying the score in this is actually really really well done I was really digging like the music that they were doing for this and uh just pretty much just the dynamic between you know, all the characters I feel like that is one of the other things that was very well done and just the cinematography I love the cinematography the uh, few fight scenes were fine and um just just the atmosphere of this show, like, it gave me huge vibes of this show, too, just with the atmosphere, so I was really, really digging that, like, how they were going about that, I'm like, okay, that, that is cool, I really, really did enjoy that, and, um, the characters are fine, they're, like, they don't really stand out a whole lot unless you read some of the comics, so then you uh, might know some of them, but, um, besides that, they're not gonna really stick out to you, and, um, uh, Harvey Dent is in the show, he is not Two-Face yet, but, um, if you follow Misha Collins, that's the actor playing him on, um, Instagram, he has been posting a lot about him becoming Two-Face, he even did something like this when he's covering the side of his face, and you can see the other side of his face, like, kind of scarred up, so, he does become Two-Face, I'm not really exactly sure how yet, but, the main thing that they didn't show him in this was him playing with his coin, and I'm surprised by that, because that is, like, essential part of Two-Face, so I am curious what they're going to be doing with that, because that was definitely kind of strange that they didn't show it, but one of my favorite things was at the end when they realized, okay, this is the Court of Owls, we actually might be in trouble, and then they say the uh, famous line, beware the Court of Owls, that watches all the time, and then at the very end, we see the uh, dirty cop get, uh, this is full-on spoiler talk now, if you don't want spoilers, uh, exit off this video right now, so before I get into that, um, I think it's a pretty solid episode, 
episode, it kind of, like, it's definitely getting me excited for more stuff throughout uh, this season. Sadly, I do think this show might be DOA, Dead on Arrival, because everything going on at the CW right now, but I gotta say, it's a pretty solid episode, the, better than what I expected, in all honesty, and I am looking forward to seeing where it leads, and I'll give this episode a 7 out of 10 on a pilot level. But anyway, that was my quick review of uh, the pilot episode, and now we're gonna get into the spoiler talk right now about the final scene of the episode. Okay, so uh, what it was at the very end was uh, Dula saying the uh, famous rhyme, and then it goes to the dirty detective, and then completely uh, Talon appears and just completely beheads him, and uh, that's how we know for sure that the Court of Owls is a major player in this show. Now, my own personal theory is that the court wanted to kill Bruce Wayne, but they didn't get to it in time. I honestly think Harvey Dent did it with his split personality, and he honestly doesn't even remember that he did it. That is my personal theory on how they're going to go about this. Like, he doesn't even remember that he killed him. So he's hunting down these kids thinking that uh, they did it when in reality he did it. But that's my personal theory. There's no proof behind that whatsoever. And uh, we also did learn that he's trying to run for mayor too, like in the near future. So I am curious if that's going to play into it as well. So honestly, we got no idea where it's leading to, but I am looking forward to seeing what it's going to be giving us because I love Misha Collins as an actor. Like I've watched it all through Supernatural. All I see is Castiel, but I'm really looking forward to seeing him play this more darker side when we uh, go down that road later on. But anyway, that was uh, my review of Gotham Knights Season 1, Episode 1, titled Pilot. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and a subscribe so I know to keep making more of these. If you have any video requests, please leave them down in the comments below. I'll do my best to reply. As of now, I have a few video requests and those are being made. But if you have any others, just let me know. As long as it's within my capability of making it, I will be making it. And if you watched uh, Gotham Knights, let me know what you thought of it down in the comments below. Like I said, it's definitely not as bad as what I was expecting. And um, the cinematography is some of the stuff that is definitely standing out the most. And Misha Collins is Harvey Dent. I honestly cannot wait to see what they end up doing with him when he becomes the uh, villain Two-Face. But anyway, let me know down in the comments below. Did you like it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? And anyway, thanks for watching as always, and I'll see all of you in the next video. Bye! Yeah.